Are you one of those gamers who just has an absolutely filthy PC and you're not too sure what to do about it? Yes. Are you one of those who sits at your computer for hours on end, chain smoking cigarettes or hitting your vape constantly, smelling Doritos everywhere, and you're just like the wow guy with all the Mountain Dew cans? Maybe. Well, here at the War Crimes Inc., we're going to teach you how to deep clean your computer. The War Crimes and Associates are not responsible for any damage done to your computer during this video. So to start off with, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol. Not the kind you drink. Don't drink this. Seriously. Some paper towels. A microfiber cloth. And a small little air blower. This one we got on Amazon. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks. But it does the job. Uh, what's better than this, though, would be a, a small electronics vacuum, and it'll suck up all the dust instead of blowing it out into your room. Now, it's been about five or six months since I made this computer, and y'all saw the video on that. I know through the magic of YouTube time, it seems like it was only a couple of weeks, but it's actually been about five or six months, so I've accumulated a fair amount of dust. I also have another product that you can use, can of air, if you don't have one of these. But realistically, the air blow is probably your better bet than this, because if you hold it upside down, see all that liquid coming out? That's not good. You don't want that on your computer. We're just going to... Get rid of that. It's been about five or six months since I made this computer or built this computer. It's a little bit dusty. So I'm gonna show you some little tips and tricks to get rid of all the dust that accumulates on your fan blades, your radiator, the glass on my on the panels and all of that fun stuff. I'm also gonna change out my thermal paste so you're gonna learn how to do that too. All right, so cue the montage. So your power supply dust cover is the last one you got to worry about. I forgot it in the montage, so here, it's removed. Now I'm just going to go and clean the dust filters and the glass and everything. So I don't actually need the tower up here. We'll go over that in a little bit. This is where you're going to take your electric blower and you're just going to blow off all the dust that's caught up on your dust filters. Now for the main one, this is the front intake filter. So with the intake fans, obviously it's gonna draw all the air in, which also means all the dust particles and like all of your girlfriend's hair that's just loose and floating around. <laughs> but you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna use your little air duster and you're just gonna clean it off. If possible, the war crimes recommend that you take these very dusty items outside before you blow them out. Unfortunately, we don't have the option because we don't like 100 degree weather. Yeah. So for the glass, you're going to also use your duster and then you can use a microfiber cloth to get all the fingerprints and everything off too. So I'll wipe everything down with my microfiber cloth to remove the fingerprints once everything's all done and been installed back because I'm not going to put gloves on to do this. So everything's going to get fingerprints on it anyway. Now that all the glass panels are done, now we get to actually work on the PC cleaning part. That's going to be a primarily aesthetically pleasing clean for the glass panels and, and whatnot. But for a functional clean, you actually need to do your, do your PC. So if you're out there and you know you just want to make things look good for a picture, you can clean and dust off your glass panels real quick for a picture. Like some people in our reaction video, their setups could use a good light dusting. Some of them probably could have even used a heavy dusting. but. A little bit of dusting goes a long way in a picture. So if you're looking at the inside of my computer and you're like, hey, cut more crimes, something looks a little different. You're absolutely right. I had to put a new motherboard in here, but it was by choice. The old motherboard didn't go bad. It was a precautionary measure that I took due to MSI being hacked and their Intel keys being leaked out onto the internet for anybody and everybody to download so they could do whatever they wanted with the BIOSes and everything along those lines. I did switch it out for the Asus Strix ROG Z790 motherboard. I think the only main benefit, uh, apart from the overclocking, which I'm still not doing just yet, is I have another M.2 slot in there. So now onto the dusting of the inside of the PC. You're still gonna use your handy dandy little blower here. And you're just gonna get into all the little nooks and crannies because I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's some dust built up down along the folds of the metal and I got some on top of the, the graphics card and everything along those lines, so we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Another thing you have to be worried about is hair getting caught inside of the bearings of your fans. It's not my hair. I have none.
And just like that, all your heavy dusting is done. So now you can follow it up with a microfiber cloth or one of like the, uh, the Swiffer ones, you know, something to grab the dust and it's just gonna clean up some of the loose dust. So Bunny had mentioned that you want to make sure you don't build up any type of static discharge, which is 100% correct. But another thing you want to be concerned about when you're using the microfiber cloth inside of your case is not to get it snagged on any of the little pins on your motherboard. Last thing you want to do is damage your motherboard. For this next series of shots, we've taken some inspiration from other fellow YouTubers who refuse to show their face in camera, so they just talk with their hands a whole lot. Now that all the major cleaning has been done. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna swap out my thermal paste. I've just gotta remove my radiator block that is done with my handy iFixit. Not a sponsor. Where's Billy? Billy needs to be here to go, yet. <laughs> So now that the CPU block is off, you see all this lovely nastiness. That's where your isopropyl alcohol and your paper towels come into play. So you're gonna use one paper towel, you're gonna get the bulk of it off. So as you can see, there's still some thermal paste around the chip itself, around the IHS. So you're just gonna use some Q-tips or paper towel or whatever you have handy to get the bulk of that off. You gotta be very careful on this part so you don't drop your chip or damage it in any way. So all the thermal paste is off of there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the chip back in place. That way it kind of helps protect the pins and the bottom of the chip and I don't accidentally drop it. It's okay if you get some of the thermal paste on the PCB cause it's all non-thermal. It won't actually do anything to the chip but it's just more of a mess to clean up later on. So always do your best to make sure that you don't get any thermal paste anywhere that you don't want it. All right, so now that that's all done, now you're gonna take a fresh brand new clean paper towel. You're gonna put a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol on there. And then you're just gonna take that rubbing alcohol, you're gonna apply it. Just kind of like buff out, remove any traces of the old thermal paste. You're always gonna see a little bit of discoloration from the pattern, but as long as all the thermal paste is off, it's fine. Do the same thing on your CPU. Then you just give it a quick second or two to dry, and then you can begin applying your new thermal paste. It's crying out extreme. Picked it up at Micro Center, not a sponsor. Yet, yeah, so now you're gonna apply your thermal paste. So this is a really weird applicator. I've never seen one like it, but I guess Der Bauer knows what they're doing. Since you know, they're like leading edge with CPU cooling. All right, and that's that. So now you just put your bracket back on. Make sure it's in the right orientation with however you want it. Mine's real simple. It goes to where I can see the Corsair logo.
And when you're tightening them down, you just want to tighten them like you do uh, the lug nuts on a car. You hit that star pattern, or in this case, it's going to be the X pattern. Then the last thing you do is you plug it back up. Don't forget to do that part. Otherwise, your CPU will start to overheat and you'll be like, what the heck's going on? It's all good to go. I just plugged everything in and then you forgot to do that. The last step that we got to do is just put on all the glass panels and then wipe off all those nasty grubby fingerprints. So with these being glass, you got two sides of glass, right? So clean the inside first. That way, whenever you put it on, you can just clean the outside. Or you can do all of this with cotton gloves and then you don't have to worry about it. And you know what you should do before you put on your front glass panel? Make sure you put your dust filter on. So that way you don't have to take off your front glass panel. And then you clean off all the fingerprints that you can probably see now because of the reflection of the outside. And just like that, we're done deep cleaning this PC. So now you gotta do is just plug it in and make sure everything works again, and then it's done. And we're gonna talk real quick about how to clean a fan. This is just one of my spare fans from the PC. It's literally just been sitting in a storage box. It has never been plugged into anything. Still has the original bread tie on there and everything. If you're gonna clean your fan using one of these little uh, air blowers, you wanna make sure that the blades don't spin. Because what it can do is generate a little bit of electricity that'll send back to your motherboard. And if your motherboard's not turned on and ready to handle that electri electrical charge, it could cause damage. So you just use the fan. You blow out all the dust and then you come back in with the microfiber and you can clean it all up. So to stop it from charging, you literally just put your thumb on it. It's not real powerful. So it's not gonna like try to spin out of control or anything like that. Then you just do the same thing from the backside, clean it up, good to go. So that concludes this PC deep clean video. Uh, let me know what you do to deep clean yours, how often you deep clean yours, if you've ever deep cleaned it, or if you're like that guy from South Park, you know, the wow guy, leaned back, similar hairline to mine unfortunately. Deep clean your stuff, take care of your equipment, your equipment take care of you. All these computers that will last you five, six, seven, eight years without having to need a major upgrade as long as you just take care of it. Like and subscribe. Okay, love you, bye.